Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is chocolate pecan pies with salted caramel. Today we're diving back into desserts on the grill with chocolate pecan pie. And instead of making one big one, we're gonna make a bunch of little ones in their own individual cast iron skillets to make it extra special. We're gonna start by making some pie dough. We've got some AP flour. We're gonna add to that a few tablespoons of white sugar and a little bit of kosher sea salt. And then we've got two sticks of frozen butter cubed up. So we wanna break this down just briefly until that butter is kind of crumbly. And it doesn't take long in a food processor. This goes really quick. Then we're able to add our eggs one at a time here. And as we continue to add some hydration to the dries, about a tablespoon and a half of water, this is all going to clump up and come together so that we can push it into a dough. So what's happened here is this dough has slowly begun to hydrate with the egg and the water. And now we can actually form it into a pie dough. So this doesn't take much work. It wants to clump together. It wants to form into a dough on its own. Uh, this right here is gonna be enough for you to make a nine inch pie, or what we're doing today is six small, like three and a half inch pies. So what I'm gonna do, since I'm cutting this into six pieces, is I'm gonna form it into a rectangle. If I was doing a big pie, I'd probably put it in a circle just to make it easy to roll out. But since we're going to make six individual ones, it's a little bit easier to put it in a rectangle. Now, since we've just worked this gluten, this dough needs to sit for about 30 minutes before we can roll it out nice and thin. So once this is rested for at least half an hour, you're ready to roll it out nice and thin. We're gonna hit a little flour on the surface, a little flour on top so nothing sticks, and then just start to push this out. So obviously we have to get six portions out of this piece of dough, which isn't gonna be a problem. We'll have more than enough. Uh, but the other thing you have to think about is just making sure that you roll it thin enough that the dough is going to cook through and the amount of time that it cooks to, takes to cook the filling. Because it's a pretty short cook for these small pies, about half an hour. So we want to make sure that this dough is fully cooked when the pies come out. So now we're going to divide this into six equal pieces. Roughly equal, I should say. Each one of our skillets is about that big. That's more than enough. In fact, we're going to have scrap to throw into the freezer for next time. So each one of these we're going to press down into our tiny three and a half inch cast iron skillets. Just keep pushing that down. Make sure the dough's all the way down in the bottom. And then we're going to take a paring knife or you could use scissors. Leave a little bit of excess so we can round off the tops and then cut the rest off doesn't have to be perfect at this point because what we can do is kind of press these down and then round off the top sort of tucking it underneath itself and we'll make it look nice once you got it rounded off we're going to press and crimp the edges with the fork and you can kind of pinch as you go to keep that even all the way around and then this right here does not have to be trash you can press this together throw it in the freezer once it's rested, you can use it to make more pie in the future. So let's throw these into the fridge to stay cold while we whip up our filling. For the chocolate filling, the pecans, we're gonna whisk up a couple of eggs first. We're gonna add to that three quarter cup of white sugar, a few tablespoons each of cocoa powder and flour. We've got six tablespoons of melted butter. We're gonna add just a splash of bourbon, which we're using in place of vanilla. You totally could use vanilla too. A half tablespoon of corn syrup. This kind of helps to stabilize and make sure that nothing caramelizes that shouldn't, or crystallizes, I should say. And then of course, your pecans. We've got one half cup of those. Now we're gonna scoop these into our cold pie dough. This is about a quarter cup scoop. I'm just gonna fill it right up to the top gonna puff up a little while it bakes but then it'll settle and we can put our pecans and caramel sauce on top not a crucial step but just gonna throw them on the jerky rack because it's easier to move them all at once today we're baking on the Yoder smokers ys640s pellet grill it's set to 375 degrees and of course we're running pecan pellets so we're just over 25 minutes into this cook and if we take a temp on these pies they're reading right up in the 170s, and that's what we're aiming for. I know it doesn't look like this is fully set yet, but once it hits 170, it's good. 
While these pies cool down, we're gonna make our caramel sauce. And we're starting off with a few tablespoons of corn syrup. This stuff's great for making caramel sauce because it kind of helps prevent crystallization from happening while it's caramelizing. We're gonna add the same amount of white sugar here. Just a little bit of kosher salt. And then just for the flavor, about two tablespoons of maple syrup as well. I'm not gonna stir this too much just because any agitation could cause some crystallization to start. So we'll just let it kind of sit there and cook down until it's caramelized. In the meantime, we can top our pies with some toasted pecans. Now these pecans just went into the grill at 375 for about eight to 10 minutes until they started to get aromatic and before they started to get brown. So we're watching for this color to change just to a light caramel color. We don't want it to go too far. It will scorch if we overcook it. Uh, and we're really close. As soon as this kind of hits that beautiful caramel color that you want, that's when you're gonna add in your butter and your cream to kind of stop the cooking. So the heat is off now. We're just whisking this until it's all kind of nice and creamy and smooth. Final little addition there, a little bit of bourbon. You could also use vanilla, you could also skip it. It's really just for the flavor. All that alcohol is gonna cook out. And while this is still warm, we're gonna pour it right over the top of the pecans. Just gonna finish this off with a little bit of kosher salt on top. And once it's cooled down just a little bit, it's ready to eat. All right, let's dig in and get a taste of this. Oh my. That is decadent. Chocolate first, caramel second. Love that little bit of salt in there. But then this dough, it's just like perfectly crumbly right now. Not overcooked, not undercooked. And then this cute little skillet, it's a perfect size for one serving each. I mean, it might be enough for two servings each. This stuff is pretty rich. You gotta give this a try. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.